Monday, June 17th, 2019, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Billy and I are back. We took a break yesterday. It was Father's Day. Uh, we also celebrated my wife's birthday. So yeah, we're back uh, ready to go. Uh, today, the title of the video is, Who do you think you're kidding, uh, Deutsche Bank? And uh, for those of you who don't know Dad's Army, I, I suggest you Google uh, Dad's Army uh, and look at it. It's a really funny sitcom uh, from the BBC about the Home Guard during World War II. And uh, there's a little song that they sing by Bud Flanagan, uh, and it's entitled, Who Do You Think You're Kidding, uh, Mr. Hitler? Uh, and don't get me uh, wrong, I'm not trying to compare Deutsche Bank with anyone. I just think it's a great expression, and it, it suits uh, this latest development that we've seen over the weekend uh, for Deutsche Bank. So what is it? Well, uh, FT reported, uh, when was it? Yesterday. Deutsche Bank to set up 50 billion euro bad bank as part of overhaul. Germany's biggest bank will shrink or shut its U.S. equity and trading business. Uh, what do I think about this? I've read the article. Uh, I think it's just like uh, <laughs> pretending you're not a pig uh, and putting a lot of lipstick on. It's pretending uh, uh, that your business is great just by forgetting about like the bad assets or the derivatives book and uh, thinking that people will be fooled by you. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's really amazing. And I read the whole thing and I came to the end and it says it all. This is this says it all. You don't have to read anything else. Uh, it says here in the FT, people briefed on the plan said the new non-core unit, that means the bad bank, uh, comprises mainly non-strategic assets and would be different to it, different, listen to this, different to its prior bad bank. So they've done this before. So they think it's going to work. It didn't work the first time, right? Uh, they think it's going to work now, which contain far more loss-making and toxic assets. From 2012 to 2016, Deutsche ran down a non-core unit with about 125 billion euros in risk weighted assets i think this one they're looking uh, to run uh, uh, this non-bad non no this bad bank with 50 billion euros this was even more include including a 4.3 billion dollar las vegas casino it took over when the developer defaulted resulting in the cumulative pre-tax loss of 14.6 billion euros over the period when Deutsche dissolved the bad bank, the roughly 10 billion of assets left were reintegrated into the core business. <laughs> uh, so how is it going to work this time? They're going to try it again, a core bank or a, a bad bank. Uh, it's just amazing. So who do you think you're kidding, uh, Deutsche Bank? So they think that uh, they can pretend that Deutsche Bank is great, is a great bank. Uh, we just get, you know, put the bad bank aside and sell all those crappy or <laughs> I don't want to say, well, shitty assets, I say, uh, to to mugs, you know, to to investors. Uh, they think that's going to work. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, I, I, don't hold your breath. Uh, Deutsche Bank is not out of the woods. As the article said, uh, they tried already. Uh from 2012 to 2016, <laughs> look wh where they are now. Why is this one going to work, right? Uh, before I go on to look at the markets, I, I want to talk about uh, power. Uh, and there is an old saying from Lord Acton. It says, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I think that's the whole problem with the banking system. Uh, that's why I keep pushing for end the Fed. It's one of the mugs that I sell and the Fed robbing Americans since 1913. Uh, it's in the Teespring store, Monaco 64. Uh, there are links to the uh, Teespring store below in the description if you're interested in buying one of those or other merchandise. So back to, yeah, the power. Yeah, uh, banking should be like any other business. If it fails, if someone doesn't run the business properly, it should fail. Government or central banks, which are a uh, government 
uh, created monopoly, uh, they should not exist. There is no central bread, uh, you know, no central bakery. <laughs> Only in the Soviet Union maybe there was, and we know how the Soviet Union ended up. So why should bank bankers be uh, immune to uh, business, you know, business cycles? They should be uh, allowed to fail. Of course, uh, the bankers fooled the uh, American public, the American Congress back in uh, just before the Fed, you know, was uh, Federal Reserve Act was passed in 1913, had the crisis of 1907. And uh, we're told, oh, J.P. Morgan bailed everyone out, organized the bailout. Fine, good. Let him organize the bailout. But don't ask you, the ta you know, taxpayers or the general public. And I say general public because back then, Americans weren't really a very big taxpayer. All this, uh, you know, uh, this uh, attitude nowadays that, oh, we're good citizens, we work and we pay our taxes. You know, that's rubbish because it, it wasn't like that just over a hundred years ago. Yeah, let the bankers do their own uh, thing. Let people uh, decide for themselves if they're going to put uh, their hard-earned hard money in the bank uh, to allow these people to suck off your, uh, the, w w your wealth via the central bank fiat currency mechanism and keep you, know, keep you poor. And, uh, that's, and, and that's what I wanted to talk about. We need to uh, make people aware that this monetary central banking system is at the heart of a lot of the troubles in the world. And why do I say that? It, it might sound a little bit, uh, how can I say, uh, arrogant to say that? Well, it isn't because uh, every commercial transaction every in the world, half of it has to, to do with money. And banks and central banks are controlling our money nowadays. Go back to an old saying, give me control of the money supply and I care not who makes the laws. Mr. Rothschild back in the 19th century. So, yeah, we, we've got too much power. Uh, too much power has gone into the hands of the central bankers, uh, the bankers. And uh, you see Deutsche Bank and all the other banks, they should have gone out of business a long time ago and they're still around. Uh, another... Uh, YouTube channel I recommend is um, Best Evidence uh, by John Titus. He doesn't make too many videos, but when he makes videos, they're really good. And uh, to understand our banking system, world banking system, the too big to fail, you need to listen to one of his videos called All the Plenary's Men. I'll put it up in the cards above and in the description below. Uh, he talks about the BIS. Tower of Basel, Bank for International Settlements, which is uh, the bank for the central bankers, probably owned by the Rothschilds, uh, the BIS in Basel. It's like the Vatican. It's like uh, has a diplomatic immunity. Uh, it's in Switzerland, but it's actually uh, on its own. It's sovereign. So, yeah, until we change the perception uh or the uh, paradigm that banking is really important, that we can't allow banks to fail, that we need central banks, this is going to keep going on. And that's why I keep trying to expose that we don't need central banks. The U.S. didn't have a central bank from 1837 to 1913. Uh, England didn't have a, a central bank prior to 1694. Uh, and things were fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, Europe didn't have central banks. Well, Europe didn't, you know, Italy and Germany didn't even exist up until the mid uh, 19th century. So, so much for them having central banks, right? Back to the markets now this morning. Uh, I waited till a little later today. It's 8.12 because I wanted to see how Deutsche Bank was doing, uh, you know, after this announcement over the weekend. Uh, Deutsche Bank is up actually 3%. Uh, the stock is up 3.4% at 6 euros 22, up 20 cents. What do I think about that? <laughs> it's a dead cat bounce. <laughs> Sell into it. Uh, this is just a sham. It's subterfuge <laughs> or deceit. 
uh, by Deutsche Bank. Uh, what about the rest of the markets? Uh, spot gold is down four, 13.37.60. Range has been 1336 to 1343.80. Silver's down four cents. Uh, 1483 range has been 1478 to 1492. Stock market, uh, the Dow futures up 33 points, 26127. S&P future is up five, 28.92. And the NASDAQ 100 uh, futures up nine. Uh, what about the uh, the currencies, the fiat currencies, the crappy paper, uh, bank paper <laughs> currencies? Because that's what they are. They lose uh, value over time. Uh, they never gain value because they can't, because <laughs> they keep issuing too many of them, and they're probably going to start doing it again through QE, uh, cable, and they're all going to sink together. You know, they take turns in sinking, but the two currencies they're going to end up. Uh, you know, keeping you, you know, your savings whole is still going to be precious metals. So cable right now is down 14 pips or 0.1 of a percent, 125.75. I think 125 is a real key a support. We break through there. Uh, we could uh, go see a test of uh, around 118. That was the low a couple of years ago, 118. Uh, Euro is uh, virtually unchanged, 112.04. Dollar is unchanged against the yen, 108.58. Uh, and uh, dollar's up slightly uh, against the U1, not much, 693.25. Crude oil, uh, WTI is down a quarter of a percent, 52.55. Brent is uh, down half a percent at 61.14 and to finish off just look at the uh, bond markets this morning uh u.s 10-year yield is at uh just under 210 2.098 the three month is at uh 218 so yeah curve comfortably uh inverted about eight basis points there you go who do you think you're kidding mr deutsche bank or deutsche bank uh, that's what I have to say about this uh, Deutsche Bank plan. Uh, yeah, it might Deutsche Bank stock might go up uh, the next few days, but um, as you saw from the article, they've already tried this before, and they think it's going to work a second time around. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, think about subscribing. Uh, Make sure you also hit the little notification bell above to be notified of all my new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, Steemit, and on DTube. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.